Newsflash! Coming at you in a flash! Newsflash! This is Newsflash, brought to you by those who geek for the week of November 9th through November 15th. Let me introduce you to our new co-host for the week, me, Frank Gonzalez. And alongside me, my trusty partner in crime, Eric the Scoundrel Witzka. How's it going, bro? Staying frosty as always, Frank. But enough about me and Frosties. It is time to shoot first. So let's shoot to the news. Go! You're right. Let's not waste any more time. Cowabunga, dudes. In PS5 news, what are you, live under a rock? It's out as of the 12th. And of course, not everything is peaches and cream. Some bugs have been reported. Random crashes, freezes. There's even bigger issues, such as the console going into rest mode and causing it to brick. And data transfers that are an issue requiring a factory reset in order to fix. It doesn't look great, Sonny Ponies. It doesn't look great. But maybe next week will be better. Wow. And I thought Starship Troopers had a lot of bugs. I mean, a bug's life. I mean, other things with bugs. I mean, uh, remember last week when I was like... All right, back to the news. In celebrity news... If you smell... La, 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 what the rock is cooking. That's right. Special Rock Edition Xbox Series X. Microsoft and Dwayne The Rock Johnson are surprising some brave and awesome kids at Gamers Outreach. They are gifting 20 children's hospitals one-of-a-kind Rock Xbox Series X consoles for over 50,000 kids. That is awesome, Dwayne. Very awesome. For all you kids out there, know your role and shut your mouths. Well, Eric, I can certainly smell what you're cooking, and it smells delicioso. In acquisitions-related news, the company Take-Two, parent to such creators as 2K Sports and Rockstar, has apparently bought the rights to Codemasters for a whopping $980 million. That's a lot of buckaroos. Codemasters, you may know them for their critically and commercially performing games, Formula One and Dirt, both racing games. It'd be interesting to see how this merger comes to pass and what becomes of it. Wow. You said whopping really weird. Where do you get off? <laughs> In gaming news, Ghost of Tsushima sold over 5 million copies? Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Nearly 2 million digital sales. Great for you guys. And a domo arigato, Mr. Roboto, to you, Eric. In other PS5 related news, PS5 games will be playable on the PS4 through a very specific means remote play. You see, a new update of the Remote Play app on PS4 will be present and allow players to stream on their PS5s to their PS4s as well as to their PCs and other mobile devices. So not all is lost this week, Bosani Ponies. And for the live-action version of this family... It is getting a new daddy, Lilo and Stitch, John M. Chu. Director John M. Chu, known for Crazy Rich Asians, is reportedly in talks to do a live action take on Lilo and Stitch. So I get ready to hold on to your seats so you can go and see it on your couch. What's that? More PlayStation news? Spider-Man 4 saves will now work on the PS5. Wow, Mayor Quimby, calm down. Spider-Man saves on your PS4 will now transfer to your PS5. After all, you may remember previously, the developer had stated that the data would not be an option to players. So that's good news. This update comes with something else too. Three new suits from the remastered PS4 game. Insomniac expects to bring this 
update to you around Thanksgiving. We have a lot to be thankful for. Vote Quimby. Always vote Quimby. You know what? I really appreciate this feature. I just started playing Miles Morales on PS4 because I don't have a PS5 yet. I'm kind of thankful for that in a way. But if I did have a PS5, I would really enjoy that feature. Moving on. Vote Quimby. We'll put a man on the moon. That makes no sense to me. On other things, movie related, Chaos Walking marketing finally begins. A movie we thought was dead and for some of us didn't know existed. Isn't Chaos Walking featuring Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley, which started filming in 2017, has finally released in its first poster. And here it is. I don't know where they're going to put it. Time will tell. In Star Wars related news, George Lucas wrote a book and it's super dope. Get out of here. No, it's true. George Lucas recently released a new book in which he reveals some surprising details about what was originally intended for the sequel trilogy that we never got, including the roles of Darth Maul, Luke, and Leia. For instance, did you realize that Darth Maul was to be the main antagonist? That Luke was supposed to start a Jedi Order somewhere in the Outer Rim? And that Leia was the one who was to bring balance to the Force? Such things and more coming to you in George Lucas's book. Stay tuned. Indeed, that book does sound dope. Dope Asaurus Rex. I am so mad that he wasn't able to put that in canon. A big, fat canon. Moving on, fantasy video game publisher league update. We're going to let you know how we are doing in our fantasy league. And here's the stats. First off, Avenged at least sevenfold media is sitting at 27 points with three games to go. You never know what's going to happen. Next up, Sony Ponies Publishing <laughs> is currently at 74 points. Not too shabby, Nate. With only Immortals Phoenix rising left to release. Next up, Personal Publisher. Oh my, it's so personal. Has 40 points. You can't win them all. Or any. And is waiting on Oddworld Soulstorm for his last release. I don't know if it's going to drop, buddy, but I hope it will. Next up, DNA Games has a whopping 75 points and is still waiting on two games. I hope you lose. I really do. I'm just going to smear it in your face. No, I was kidding. <laughs> just messing, man. I do hope you lose, though. Um, after that, we have Stormfall Games which is looking at 47 points at this point and still has two games to release. And last but never least, me. Never tell me the odds. Just never do it. I am looking at 76 points, so I'm sitting pretty. But all my games have dropped, so uh, bye. I ain't winning this year. So whoever pulls it out, Good job, guys. Good job. And I hate you. It's important to remember the special disclaimer. There's a dark horse, and it's Sonny Ponies, and it's coming for you. But also, I guess the odds are, in fact, slim to none. Eat me! You're a monster! I'm just kidding, bro. We all hope that DNA loses. Bye! And for our final story, in West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out back and relaxing all cool? Yeah, and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Weren't there a couple of guys who were up to no good? Yeah, they started making trouble in my neighborhood. Didn't you get in one little fight and your mom got scared? She said you're moving with your uncle and auntie to Bel Air. Didn't you whistle for a cab and when it came near, there was a license plate that said fresh and there was a dice in the mirror? 
if anything, I could say that that cab was rare, but I said, yo, man, forget it. I'm off to Bel Air. Uh, woo! <laughs> Getting jiggy with it. Na, 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 uh. na, 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 ha, ha, ooh, uh. <laughs> There's going to be a Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion after 30 years. For those of you keeping score, I was six. Eric was five. And this changed our lives. They're going to be coming back and even bringing the original Aunt Vivian. What a show this will be. If you've seen the trailer, you could see how it's both lighthearted and also very touching and sobering because of the story and its content. Hope all you get to watch it. And we all could use a little Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Well, that's our news flash for the week of November 9th through November 15th. I've been your new co-host for the week, Frank Gonzalez. And this has been your scruffy looking nerf herder, Eric Witzka. And remember, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you on the flip side. Thank you for joining us and we'll catch you next time.